My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a hundred dollar credit on your next ad campaign. Go to LinkedIn.com slash results to claim your credit. That's LinkedIn.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, currently getting into it with some test drive fanboys on Twitter. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty sad. It's one of those things where it's like, you guys can defend this game all you want. It's still not going to change the fact that the game has, like, what, 2.9 stars on uh, Xbox. Because if you go on there, it has, it's like a centimeter, not not even that. Like, it's, it's relatively close to getting three stars. But in my eyes, it's still at two stars, all right? It has only two full stars. It ain't got that third full star yet. But anyways, I feel like Xbox gamers, they're a little bit more forgiving because there's there's other options that we have. So it's like, hey, you know, I ain't got to sit down and play this game. I could go play Forza Crew, um, the talking like on the Crew 2, Motorfest, all that stuff. I'm trying to think of some uh, other racing games that they got. Yeah, it's like we got a lot of different options on there. PlayStation, you know, all platforms really do have a lot of different options and stuff, but at the end of the day though with the uh, test drive it's a game where it's like you're definitely going to be the last option like if i have a list of racing games that i'm gonna play test drive officially now is the last option on that list i would rather go back and play a dead broken nobody is even fooling with it racing game than to play that i'd rather play the old test drives than to play this new test drive let's just say that all right but I'm not going to talk about that. I am going to talk about this new trend, though, of people defending bad video games because I don't get it. I really do not get it. Like, it wasn't too long ago where somebody was trying to uh, defend the Concord game that uh, came out. Like, it came out, what, maybe three, four weeks ago, and then, uh, what was it, last week or sometime the beginning of this week, they shut the game down, and I'm like, fam, the game wasn't even out that long. Like, you cannot buy this game. The developers, they shut the game down. They were like, no, we're we're done with this. Why are you defending this game if the game just shut down? Like, I, I'm saying, like, there there isn't no defense for a bad video game. When a video game is broken, I don't, my thing is this. I don't even care if it's on the first day. It shouldn't be no situation. Test Drive Unlimited 2 wasn't broken on the first day. Why does Test Drive, you, my thing is this. Even just talking on that game real quick, the developers had 18 years to do something with this series. Solar Crown is what they decided to do with this series, and that's why their game is currently... My thing is this, when you see most video games, what about God of War? What was the last God of War video game that they came out with? You didn't see them uh, coming out with no bad video game. Let me see all of the different God of War games that came out. God of War franchise. Okay, let's see if they have like a list of games that they've came out. I, I, let me just actually, you know, no, God of War game list in order. In order. Okay, so the last God of War game, a call from the from the wild. What is that? I never heard of this God of War game. That's an actual game. When that come out? Oh, I think that must have been, there's like, it's a text-based game. Okay, so that wasn't like no official game and stuff. But anyways, um, how, okay, so I don't know why they can't just have like a list of all the different games. And there's like God of War. So the last God of War game that they had came out with, I think before they remastered, or not remastered, but they, I guess, decide to remake the series. Um, God of War, well, it wasn't like a remake, but they did just decide to just call it God of War. But uh, the last one they came out with, though, was in 2010. They had eight years. So you had actually, no, the God of War people, they had less time. They did the game because I think, what, the uh, that one came out in 2018. Hold on for a second. Let me check real quick when exactly that one came out. I went, oh, no, yeah, I think I just, I seen a quick glimpse of it. It said 2018. So they had eight years. They had eight years to come out with a new video game, and they did, and it was good. 
And it's a game where people still talk on it good till this day. I don't remember the hearing anything bad about that game when it very first came out. Talking on God of War. So like the, the new God of War game. And then even when they came out with the second one, I never played it. But still, that's a game where I didn't hear no bad things about it. And then even with other games like Legend of Zelda. I remember when they came out with the Nintendo Switches. And then uh, that Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. I didn't hear no bad things about that. It seems like it always comes from developers that do not care. But when you actually see developers care about their games. Yeah, you see games like uh, Legend of Zelda. You'll see games like God of War. I'm trying to think of some other video games out there. You even see developers where it's all like, okay, we can't think of any things to do right now with our video games. So we're going to leave it up to the audience. And that's why you see games like Gmod. Fortnite, I'm trying to think of some other games where they leave it up to the uh, audience. I feel like there are some other ones in the on the list and stuff, but you even have developers where they're all like, well, we want you guys just to enjoy the video game. So we're going to have it where this video game is free. Like, yeah, the cosmetics you might have to pay for, but the core game itself is going to be free. And that a video game that I can think of right off the top of my head is Warframe. That's a game where you could put hours upon hours into that game, and it's like, fam, what what the and then you know you even have it where it's all like the developers they decide well hey we're gonna put our game on an uh like one of those like subscription services talking on forza they got forza horizon 4 and 5 they got forza the new forza motorsport you literally have three games right there three racing games right there two of them being open world one being like those just like yeah it's just like them track uh like racing games but i'm just saying like there are developers out there that care about their game. What is Test Drive Unlimited, um, Unlimited Solar Crown? What are their uh, excuse? What are the developers' excuse for that game? Because I'm saying, to me, it just doesn't seem like that's normal to be in this day and age coming out with a video game that's halfway buggy, broken. You're in the middle of a race. The race, the game just decides to crash on you. You had it where you mean to tell me both today um the game's official release and then uh the early access release you mean to tell me like oh it, it's uh like that's that's just some people no bruh like people because no that's the thing though people are trying to say that they are i guess defend uh this game like talking on test drive unlimited solar crown they're trying to defend this game and make it seem like that's a good game but i'm like you cannot hide the people's bad reviews Let, let's just look up because i do have the uh game open on uh steam right now let's just look up so uh one person said fyi you you are forced to create an account yes that is a um, actual thing create an account with nakan whatever their name is and link it to your steam account in order to play it at all refund it another person said the handling is good but on will is terrible the dealership function is cool just a lack of cars that is true though they really don't have a whole like they got like multiple corvettes but they ain't got no dodge charger so i'm like that's that's another thing right there i didn't even really care for the lack of cars because i was like all right i'll just use some of the other cars but yeah that's that's a thing they don't really have a whole lot of cars in that game and then there's like that always online why even have that to prevent cheaters anti cheeks exist for something optimization doesn't exist a rx 7 um 1700 xt 32 gigabyte of ram on ultra and still barely 60 frames per second at 1080p Playing with friends was the worst experience I think I ever had in, in a game. You sometimes cannot join each other's servers. We can't see each other 90% of the time. And when in group, you constantly get a, get the save progress pop up. I think the game can get better. But if you're thinking on, on buying it, you shouldn't you shouldn't until everything is fixed. I barely advance on the game because it is this awful. That's not me. That is from some random person named uh nanor 13 and then the other person captain murka uh what is this other review there's like the from a person named zerm they uh and these people are putting uh well the first guy they was like that i yeah the one that was talking about creating an account and he didn't even put no hours into the game but the last review he put 3.2 hours into the game then this review that i'm getting ready to re um read now the guy put 2.1 hours into the game he said feels like it's still in development which is does um, always online, bad AI, bad graphics, mediocre handling model, 
bad customization, bad everything really. Don't understand how anyone can think that this is a product worth releasing, let alone selling. Will most likely be dead this time next year. Literally the same thing that I have been saying since I started playing this game, bro. No, let, let me see... So then another person, this is by OG Koo, they go on to say, uh, Test Drive Unlimited 1 and 2 are games of my childhood. I've driven thousands and thousands of kilometers around Ao, Ao and uh, uh, Biz, uh, Ibiza, I don't know. Anyways, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is nowhere near those two games. I wouldn't recommend it unless you have, you're a diehard fan of Test Drive Unlimited, which is most likely the people that I'm arguing with when they're like diehard fans. You could enjoy this game when you space out of all of its problems, and that's really how you have to uh, look at it. But yeah, that person put 13 hours into the game. Another one put 38 hours. Bad, And these are bad reviews that I'm looking at. 5.9 hours, 9.6 hours, 13.6 hours, 17.4 hours, 2.7 hours, and 56.6 hours. And it's like some of the uh, good, yeah, some of the good reviews, it's like people putting uh, a lot of hours into the game. But it's like, fam, you cannot ignore those bad reviews. And that's one of the main reasons on why video games be failing. When you have a bunch of yes men surrounding you saying, oh, yeah, this is amazing. This is an amazing game. Oh, yeah, we got to celebrate. Oh, this game is amazing. This is dope. Like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is... And then you're not listening to the criticism because you have to remember, there are people paying money for this game it ain't like i got this game for free it ain't like i'm just playing this game for fun no i paid money for this game i can only imagine how i would, would have been reacting to this game when i was a kid because when i was a kid i had to say my anger issues was really above the roof when it came to video games now i have to say i'm a little bit more calm cool and collected but I, even with playing this game and then there's just so many other games that i played where it's like you could just see that the developers don't care i'm like fam we should not be in the year 2020 for releasing bad video games when they're making it seem like they hype up these consoles they'll hype up an xbox they'll hype up a playstation gaming pcs i feel like that's really left up to the uh to the person that's either building or buying it whichever but anyways they shouldn't be hyping up all this technology just for us to be getting these mediocre games to me, that just don't make no sense. That doesn't make any sense. I'm paying 90 something dollars for a video game and I'm not even getting the experience that I want to get. And then the people that are trying to defend this, and it's like, okay, so what would you do? What would you do? You go and pay uh, money to go see some movie in theaters and they only give you portions of the movie. And I'm not saying like, oh, they show you two hours worth of a movie and then send you on your way. No, they'll send you like four or five minutes of a, or have you watch four or five minutes of the movie and they're all like, oh, come back three, four months from now to see another, uh, like, yeah, they're like two gigabytes of a video game, like of an update. So yeah, they're like two more minutes of the movie. And then, uh, like, by the time, like, four or five years down the road, then it's like, then that's when you haven't seen the full movie. Do you think that's something that you're going to want to invest into? You think that's something that you're going to support? No, you're going to try to get your money back. You're like, I'm not going to pay you however much money it costs to pay to go into the thing, because I know it's different everywhere. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to pay however much money it costs to get into a theaters and see a movie in portions and it's all like and then what then it's like with a dlc or when some extra added on content gets added on to the movie i gotta pay for that too no bruh people need to really understand that it's like a lot of developers do not care and by you defending them oh because they're doing a giveaway oh because they're doing this with the game they're doing that with the game they liked one of your tweets they liked one of your videos on tiktok they left a comment underneath one of your youtube videos fam none of that stuff doesn't matter it, at least it doesn't matter to me I'm saying like a, a Test Drive Unlimited or any other developers where I didn't talk bad about their game, they can leave a comment saying, oh man, we love your content. And I'm like, look, I appreciate it, but you got some issues with your game that you need to work on. That's, that's a fact. That is 100% a fact. That's why you see games, because no, people be wanting to defend stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, the game of uh, the day before, they had uh, fans. How come that game's no longer a game today? How, how come that game, and I know people are going to probably be all like, oh, well, because it has. This, every other game before and after done had issues. Now, they might have, like, a, I guess, like, not as much as the day before, but still, the day before, it was playable. You could get through, I at least I was able to play through the game. Why did they shut that game down? Because it was not good. I don't know what part of that people don't understand, but I'm like, look. 
to them fans, to them diehard fans, I'm like, you gotta stop doing that to them games. You gotta stop doing that because the developers, they gonna just get comfortable. That's why NBA 2K, Madden, FIFA, and all the other types of games out there, that's why those developers are so comfortable with releasing the same game every year. But do you think you're going to want to pay $90 a year for a video game? No. And I know I don't. And I know this would be the last time with Test Drive or any other video game out there. That's why I won't be buying the Madden games. I won't be buying the 2K games. Once you realize that the developers don't care, at least for me, once when I realize they don't care, I lose interest. Yeah, I might play the game, but the only way I'll play that game is if I'm playing that game for free. But I am not going to spend money on those games. And I feel like that that's just a major letdown to the fan where it's like, yeah, I might not be a diehard fan, but at the same time, it's like paying you guys $90 for a video game and you're giving me a game talking on Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. You're giving me a game where it got overpriced cars, difficult AIs, horrible controls, uh, no offline mode, but I'm supposed to talk good about this game that not nah. i'm like yeah that's why i'm all like games like that you that's why you come next year they end up being like four or five dollars if not that shut down because it seems like that's like a normal thing seeing it with the video game the day before in concord and i guess <clears throat> excuse me what con i know the day before was really hyped up but concord i didn't know about that game until they uh like pretty much around the time when they had released and um i just know that uh like yeah a lot of people were hyping it up but look at them two games gone so I'm like, yeah, if, if you, my, the thing is this, talking to those developers, if you want to, um, I guess, head down that path, continue doing what you're doing with video games. Because I guarantee and I promise you, we'll see a lot of games shut down before we see them to get turned into a whole franchise. Because I guarantee and I promise you, we wouldn't have seen no Day Before 2, Day Before 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, same with Concord. Not at the rate that they were going. And I'm like, people just, they they comfortable with games like that. I'm like, not me. I'm sick and tired of developers coming out with video games and them games is halfway broken. We supposed to give away a good majority of our money and things to what? And it's like, my thing is this, even talking on games like 2K, Madden, FIFA and all that stuff, we give these guys all this money throughout the year. And then like at the months when they get released, like we're giving them money then where is all that money going to? That's what I would like to know. It's like you guys probably be getting a billion dollars worth of our money. Where is that money going to? Because it definitely ain't going into the uh, video game development. I know that much. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm saying like these games, uh, the fans, I'm like you guys, them at least diehard fans, y'all got to stop defending these games when these games is halfway broken. They are broken, bro. There ain't no defense for that. So anyways. With that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode and peace.